Yo, what's up? We are now sitting in the Polestar 2 PP and in this video I will show you how you can fix 4G when it's out. I found it! Yes! So you see, we've been complaining that 4G has been out. There's a little cross over the 4G symbol there. That means that we have no internet connection. So one thing that might work for you, I'm not sure, but you know, I, I press this button here. Uh, well, you can actually press and hold this button and I'll show what happens. Then they will ask you if you want to power off. Yeah, but um, the other trick that actually, wait, keep trying, okay. The other trick is that you can hold down, this one is the home button. So let me show you now what happens if you hold down this button then. This is the one, the, the reset button is here. You hold it down. After a while, you actually enter the cleaning mode. So it's like a hidden feature, you come to the clean mode here. Uh, and then I can deactivate it. Yeah, I have to hold it down to deactivate it. Again, you come back to here. Uh, is there a way to actually act? I mean, let me check something. Let me see if I'm smart enough to figure out this. Display. There should be another way to enter screen cleaning mode. Actually, it seems like it isn't. That's the only way to do it because I didn't know about that feature because I've been looking through the stuff here. So uh, that's a bit uh, bummer. There should be also somewhere in the display here but okay okay enough about that but uh, people been saying that if you hold on the, ho uh, the home button here for 20 seconds it will reset the media control unit or the central display or whatever you call it keep holding keep holding it 20 seconds is a very long time when you have to hold your breath there and now it reset but you see that this one is still uh, up and running so you can actually do this while driving yeah, I heard a friend did that. Yeah, I'm asking her for a friend. <laughs> well, you see now, you can see this Polar 2. So now it will restart the media control unit or the MCU. I don't know what they call it here in, uh, in the Polestar world. But unfortunately, if you look closer here and you wait a little bit, so it's fairly fast to reboot, but you see that 4G, okay, it brings up Bluetooth. And uh, I think this is uh, positioning but uh, it still doesn't uh, have 4G. So if you try to use voice control, hey Google, um, what is the time now? You see? Yeah, you see? So voice control doesn't work because Google- This internet connection isn't reliable at the moment. Yeah, internet connection requires, I mean, uh, Google uh, Assist requires internet connection because it will actually send the voice file to Google to interpret it and then figure out what the command is. And then uh, also here, if you want to play Spotify, it doesn't work. My library, uh, playlist. Yeah, you see, it's, it's oh, sorry, uh, it's overexposed, but it doesn't work. So. The, the thing that worked though is scroll down this and we just uh, just swipe down and then here sign on to network netcom okay let me adjust it everything is so dark in this car right now okay and then you you come here there's another place to go you can also go via the menu and what they oh it's super bright okay there you go yeah so yeah t-mobile i don't know why but it uses netcom in norway and then all they have to do is just click accept and connect you can also i guess you can you can log in for regular customer but this one works accept and connect okay it's working and just pay attention here okay it disappeared the triangle and then you have to wait waiting wait oh wait, wait it came back 4g wait it's still crossed out there there look and then suddenly the music started playing. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. And then it's still doing the whole, there, there, there. Okay, wait a little bit more. Just have to finish, uh, in, uh, f like finalize the, the process. And then it's just <laughs> funny, there's no internet connection. But we now have 4G, look there. And now if you go here and then Oh yeah! 
<laughs> Good stuff. And not only that, but now you can use voice control again. So let's try. Hey Google, two plus two is quick math. The answer is five. What the heck? Hey Google, who is your daddy and what does he do? I come from a pretty big family. There are over 100,000 Googlers around the world. <laughs> yeah, so now Google, I mean, now internet is working. So that's all you have to do. Just swipe and then, yeah, you see now you have no notification there. But another way to get it if you don't, well, it, the swiping is the easiest. Uh, um, yeah, is that you can click here, the cogwheel, and then go to, well, actually the same place you go to play uh, YouTube, but they have fixed that. Go to privacy and data sharing, and then go to uh, internet terms of service. And you come to the same place if you notice it says internet yeah but we are now we are now connected oh, oh, it's, oh shit i don't know why this one is super bright let me see there, there, there. you can read you're now connected and actually if you disconnect here just for fun i'm going to show you and are you sure you're going to do that disconnect i don't know me i think that's what happened because if you look up here it will become like that again and then it will have the cross out uh, thing on the 4g yeah you see uh so I don't know if this is general knowledge of um, for, for Polestar users or not, but at least I made this video to to show people how you can fix it because I didn't know how to fix it. And people say you just hold down the hold down the home button for twenty seconds, it will fix itself. Oh shit! Focus. Okay, we are back now. So, but yes, the home button might work in some cases, but at least in this case, it didn't work. So all you have to do is just go here and then connect. But yeah, I think that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.